Welcome to episode five of Ultralight Bike Packing 101. So last week we reviewed um, di different hammocks. We compared a bunch of different hammocks and I hands down went with hummingbird hammocks because they're so light. Now, one of the reasons they're so light is they don't actually employ a carabiner setup. It's this extremely lightweight plastic button. You're gonna loop it through your strap and then through that hole and that's gonna hold. And that's for 400 pounds. You're never gonna fall out of that. Let's talk about straps. There are a lot of different types of straps out there. Every company uses theirs. There are two main differences between how straps are set up. One is the loop system. This is gonna be like the Eagle's Nest Outfitters um, Atlas straps. They have a ton of loops on them. You're gonna wrap that around the tree and connect your hammock to different loops. The other setup is called the whoopee sling. The whoopee sling, because it doesn't have a ton of extra rope, is gonna be far lighter than if you were to have the rings, the loops in it. So let's cover the two lightest straps. Hummingbird makes the lightest straps hands down. There's no comparison. Eno makes a really good whoopee sling setup too. This is my first setup. It's not as light as this. Hummingbird has two different straps. They have the, the base straps and then the straps plus. The difference between the two is the base straps are eight foot, four inches, eight feet, four inches long. The um, straps plus are just over 12 feet long. So where that's really going to excel is I, I bought the Straps Plus for when I went to the Pacific Northwest a few years ago. I wanted straps that were gonna fit on any tree and they did that very well. The base straps by Hummingbird are gonna fit on your average tree. I think a tree that's about uh, 18 inches in diameter, 20 inches in diameter, it'll fit around that. These, I didn't have a tree in the Pacific Northwest that was too big for them that I was trying to hang to, or there was always a tree available that I could hang to them. So the price difference, the straps plus are gonna be $35. The base straps are $30. These weigh two and a half ounces, both straps together. This setup is two and a half ounces. And these are the um, 12 foot straps, the ultra um, long ones. The base straps weigh one and a half ounces for both. So now let's dive into Eno. Eno's got a sweet setup. These are their shorter straps. They do the same thing. They have short straps and extra large straps to fit around those bigger trees. These are the shorter ones. So remember, these are the ultra long. These are 12 feet. This is only eight feet. This weighs nearly six ounces. Okay, so that's three times the weight. And these are actually, they pack down smaller than the Eagle's Nest Outfitters do. These are still awesome. These are actually more expensive. These are $35. And then the long version of the Eno, um, what are they? I think it's just the, they're called the Helio straps. The long version is called the Helios XL. And those are about $40. So for a lighter setup, more compact setup, Hummingbird has the best option. I go with them for that reason. Also setup is a lot easier, especially when you're pairing it with the button since Hummingbird makes the button. Um, the third type of setup that I, I wanted to cover are the Atlas straps. Every, like I said, every company makes a strap like the Atlas with a lot of different loops in them. Those are gonna be old, really heavy. They're about 12 ounces. So these are two and a half, the Atlas straps are 12. 12 ounces. It's a lot. It's a big difference. They're about the same price. They're not any cheaper, but they pack down a lot bigger, right? So for bike packing, ultralight backpacking, whatever you're doing, these are going to be your awesome options. Either the Hummingbird straps or the Eno Helios. Hummingbird, they're a direct, they're a business to consumer, a direct business to consumer um, company. So you're not going to find them in stores. Shipping is usually like five days. Um, but I went with these, obviously, like I've said every time, this is ultralight bike packing. I wanted the most lightweight and the most packable option. So now let's, I, I wanna describe, I've talked about the whoopee sling. I wanna show exactly how that works, okay? So he, this is the Hummingbird variant. Let's grab the Eno variant. That way we can compare and contrast. So you can see here, when you're putting the button into here, you have this big loop, you can just throw it in. With the Eagle's Nest Outfitters, it works great with the carabiner. Um, but you've got this little loop right here you're trying to shove the button through, which works. It's just hard when you're camping in early spring or late fall, your fingers are cold. It's a small thing, but it, it's quite surprising how frustrating you get when you can't get the button through there. So the way the whoopee sling works is it's this right here, okay? It's this section of rope. So the rope comes out the bottom here and it comes out the top right here. If I'm scrunching this rope up, you can see how that bunches up that lets go of this rope that can slide through, okay? So if that's scrunched, if there's no weight on that, I can just slide that all day long. And what's really nice with that is 
for those who have the straps like the Atlas straps where they have a bunch of different rings, you're constantly having to pull your hammock out, put it in the right loop. Nope, that's not the right one. Where this, you just get up and you slide it to the exact height that you want. But as soon as you put weight on that, it tightens up this. So this is the portion right here to pay attention to. As soon as you tighten that, no rope's gonna go through. It doesn't, it's, it's just, it can't because it's so, there's so much weight on that, right? So I'm pulling as hard as I can on that and it's not coming through. So that's the whoopee sling setup. So we hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.